Hello, good evening. Ramzan Mari is here. Uh, today we are just going to discuss about uh, such a little pandemic disease which has been widely spread in all over the world and has uh, exerted a huge influence over the lives of the people and the people have uh, been uh, locked down and remaining uh, uh, this disease has compelled them to remain in isolation of course today we are just discussing about uh, the coronavirus <clears throat> coronavirus is also called the novel coronavirus covid-19 actually it is a pandemic disease uh, and uh, and in first it was uh, uh, broke out in china and uh, later rest of the world everywhere all over the world and most of the countries have been affected by this uh, lethal disease and uh, <clears throat> so today we are just going to discuss about uh, about it whether there is uh, the effects of weather I um, mean, cold weather, hot weather, or any time not. Uh, what is uh, um, coronavirus? It's actually a disease, and uh, disease which nowadays uh, it is used as a biotechnological weapon among the masses, among uh, among the uh, uh, into the people um, everywhere in the world right <clears throat> so and first there was uh, a war which was waged through weapons swords and uh, guns pistols but right now the battle which has been waged all over the world a biochemical weapon is used means through coronavirus right so there are different uh, views of the different people that how it broke uh, out in china and how after uh, china widespread it in the rest of the uh, world actually it is uh, uh, it is having uh, uh, it, it belongs to the family of influenza because it is having the same pattern, same symptoms, and same treatment. So, keeping keep, keeping in view such elements which are found in the influenza uh, family, like uh, flu, cough, right? So, what are the symptoms which are uh, mostly found, uh, and we come to know that whether we are just affected by coronavirus or not. The symptoms are like that, that means at first you will start to feel um, fever, dry cough, then shortness of breath. Means you would start to feel suffocation, you would not be able to breathe uh, easily, you won't, won't be able to inhale or exhale uh, very smoothly. So these are the symptoms uh, of the coronavirus. When you just find such symptoms, then you have to uh, consult with your near doctor who can guide you and can teach you well. Now we have to understand that uh, if it is uh, belonging to the family of influenza, then we think uh, uh, they are just having the same. Actually, they are just having the same uh, symptoms uh, and same, you know, that uh, it grows, uh, um, it grows uh, rapidly, uh, like influenza. Uh, it's it's a pandemic uh, disease and the spreading from one person to another person, from one person to the masses of the people uh, through contact. Uh, through you know that uh, air when, when when you're just going to sneeze or you're just coughing droplets of your sneezing the droplets of your cup are wide, wide spreaded into the ear and uh, through those droplets people are affected uh, with your droplets and those people are you know that uh, then wide spreading uh, this particular disease into the other people so this is a chain right so what we have to do that while being uh, the victim of such uh, lethal disease, we have to be uh, very much careful and we have to be um, careful and we have to be, you know, that uh, aware, well aware about uh, uh, this disease that how can we, uh, we have to control on it and, and which precautionary measures we have to take to uh, be limited not to harm other people.
right so what we have to do that uh, in order to save the lives of the other people uh, because when you're disinfected with the uh, disease uh, then it is uh, you know that uh, uh, unstoppable you cannot stop it stop it because it uh, carries on uh, from one person to the masses and uh, there is there would be you know that uh, uh, when those masses would be the victim then there would be only the massacre right means uh, masses uh, demises of the people you would observe uh, uh, by uh, those who are infected with this uh, pandemic disease so what we have to do that we have to um, when we are just finding such symptoms as I told you before that we have to be um, very much anxious uh, not only about ourselves but about uh, uh, the people where you are just living where you are just, means we are also the part of the society so we don't have to care about ourselves but we have to care about the people who are the part of our society our family members our relatives our neighbors okay the people who are around you because uh, everybody is having uh, much more importance for their family members so we have to care about uh, not only one person but about your families as well so as i told you that uh, uh, for that you have uh, to be uh, you have to remain in isolation because this disease has you know that uh, exerted uh, such uh, bad effect over the masses that uh, uh, now the world has been, you know, that uh, in uh, uh, lockdown, lockdown, the people are just living in their homes, uh, in their houses, uh, in isolation, and uh, you know that they are just they 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 are just uh, they are, they have been imprisoned uh, uh, into small jails at their homes. So it is it is beneficial for them. It is useful for them. It 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 you know that it helps them out to. Uh, prevent not only them but their children from the uh, from those people who are affected already by this such uh, a lethal disease such pandemic disease so we have to be very much uh, careful uh, careful and very much anxious about it and this is you know that uh, these are the very you know that lucrative measures and steps that we have to take and besides this what we have to do that we have to wear gloves uh, because we don't have to shake hands with the people who are just affected we, we don't know whether the way whether such person is affected or not but we have to be careful while being uh, coming in connection with uh, another person uh, because we are not sure whether uh, that person is a victim of that uh, lethal pandemic uh, virus or not so we have to wear gloves and uh, when we are just going outside we have to wear most because in order to save ourselves because as I told you that when a person who is uh, coughing and sneezing some more droplets are you know that widespread it uh, in our atmosphere and when a person who is walking uh, um, in in such a street in such a city in such area so it's those, those you know that uh, uh, droplets you know that uh, uh, <coughs> droplets you know that uh, touch touch are there, there are stick on their faces and uh, uh, those also become you know that uh, the victim of such lethal and pandemic disease so that's why we don't have to hug the people and we don't have to shake the hand uh, we we have to wear the mask we have to wear the gloves in order to save our lives and uh, besides this if we are just having any you know that task a particular task if there's an emergency for that purpose we have to go outside like uh, if you just want to buy edible things uh, for your children because without uh, uh, food without uh, edible things we it is hardly simple for we people to survive in this uh, mountain in this temporal because it, these this is our need, need to eat something and to uh, survive okay and it is hardly it is an artist job for uh, for even a child to survive without food okay for edible things vegetables fruits and medicine you go outside buy but uh, uh, before this you have to take precautionary steps as i told you before that you have to um, wear mask and gloves and um, you don't have to shake hand and hug with the people and you have to confine yourself up to yourself because it is useful for you right and what uh, uh, these are these were these were the pre uh, preventions and precautionary steps in order to 
uh, secure in order to save your life and the lives of the other people and afterwards what we have to do that uh, uh, the thing which I which I would like to tell you that uh, <coughs> Uh, that we have to discuss whether uh, there is an effect of uh, weather on it on it or not. If uh, influenza is having the weather effect uh, in uh, cold weather, mostly it increases rapidly and widespread, uh, uh, very you know that quickly, and affects most of the people uh, very you know that quickly because it's also wide wide spreading and it breaks out. Uh, very quickly in the message in the society and if one person is having flu if another person who is uh, not infected with the uh, with affected with this with flu and he's using the glass of that particular person who is already affected and that person is affected okay so we have to be careful not using uh, such uh, you know that um, utensils uh, pots uh, glasses which are used by you know that uh, people who are just having flu we we always you know that uh, don't uh, uh, come closure those people and they wear you know that mo uh, mosque okay so simultaneously uh, it is having as i told you it is having the same symptoms of symptoms and it is having the same pattern and same treatment it grows uh, rapidly like influenza so we here we have to discuss that uh, if uh, it increases rapidly during uh, cold weather uh, like influenza, influenza, as it decreases uh, its intensity during hot weather, uh, so can we expect that uh, uh, the coronavirus, which is having the same symptoms like influenza, influenza, uh, decreases its intensity during the hot weather? Uh, would the weather, uh, hot weather, would be blessing for we people or not? Uh, because we, we, the people who are living in the hot weather in Pakistan. Um, so I think uh, uh, as influenza, flu, cough uh, decreases during uh, cold weather, simultaneously coronavirus, virus, uh, 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 you know that its intensity would be decreased during uh, due to hot weather. And uh, <clears throat> and what uh, what are the uh, uh, what are the me measures the government has to take in this regard? Uh, government uh, has to be you know that because then uh, even up to this time uh, this uh, there there is you know that every year on social media where we are just finding the demises of the people in Iran uh, in you know that uh, uh, <coughs> Italy okay and uh, China ultimately defeated this uh, uh, pandemic disease and became successful now we have to think that whether we uh, we uh, whether whether Pakistan uh, will be successful uh, uh, in this battlefield or not, and it mostly uh, takes on those people who are just having uh, be, uh, their uh, immune system very much weak. Uh, if your immune system is weak, you will be attacked. Uh, you will be affected uh, by this coronavirus uh, very quickly, very fast, and for that you have to enhance your immune uh, system and. Uh, uh, by consulting your doctor, you have to take uh, uh, such supplementaries which helps you out to uh, increase, enhance your immune system, which uh, strengthens your immune system. And uh, those people who are uh, uh, those people are mostly affected by this coronavirus, who are uh, old age, uh, and uh, those uh, who are you know that uh, uh, not having good immune system. And mostly uh, the children and the old age people are affected very much by this uh, uh, disease, right? So we have to be careful not letting uh, the children and the old people outside of uh, outside of your homes. Let them remain in isolation at their homes, and even <coughs> those uh, people who are just having uh, you know that pre-existing diseases like. Uh, are the victim of pre-existing pre diseases like uh, uh, their uh, cardiac patients uh, and their diabetic patients, uh, sugar patients, and the other patients of hypertension. So they are very much, uh, you know, that uh, affected by coronavirus. Okay, so <clears throat> so what we have to do that uh, we have to be uh, we have to be careful and uh, those people who are just having pre-existing pre disease which I told you right now they have to remain in isolation at their homes rather than going outside if they are just uh, 
uh, if, they, if they are just affected by this uh, uh, pandemic disease, uh, it which uh, uh, it will harm them very much uh, and it will affect them rapidly. So that's why they have to be very much careful. They have to be very much you know that anxious about it, and they have to take uh, very quick uh, prompt measures in order to save their lives. Uh, so what you have to do that you have to insecure your children and uh, not only children but uh, the people who are old age uh, along with those people who are already having uh, pre-existing diseases right uh, and uh, beside this uh, 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 what what is the most important that uh, uh, you know that uh, uh, creates a problem for the people in uh, uh, being being the being the victim of the coronavirus actually uh, this is uh, this is called a lethal and pandemic disease it uh, chokes uh, the you know that uh, respiratory system right by respiratory system means uh, through which you can inhale and exhale uh, you just take breath it chokes your breathing the respiratory veins are choked with the thick mucus uh, and that causes uh, you to die right so that's why whenever you just find uh, such a uh, you know that uh, situation you're just uh, as i told you the symptoms uh, fever dry cough and shortness uh, shortness of breath you have to consult with your because there are the different remedies which are recommended by different uh, um, doctors and it is uh, right now uh, the talk of the town uh, that um, chloroquine chloroquine and uh, ethrosin they both are used and different medicines and some every every you know that these are the uh, expert uh, and medical expert suggestions uh, um, advices for the people but uh, uh, even up, uh, up to this time uh, there is no inaccurate medicine given uh, are introduced in the market uh, to treat the patients um, till we we find uh, the treatment we have to be very much uh, careful we have to take our you know that precautionary measures we have to be very much uh, uh, preventive uh, as uh, <clears throat> prevention is better than cure because uh, the steps concrete steps solid steps which have been taken by the government are very much uh, useful very much you know that uh, lucrative for we people because they are thinking about our, our lives and for that if we are not going to care about ourselves then we will suffer a lot. Thank you very much. I think today uh, the knowledge which I have just kind of it towards you all will help you out to understand the coronavirus uh, uh, as a pandemic disease. Thank you very much.